Hello children, welcome to Anne's Math Classes. Congratulations on your promotion from Class 5 to Class 6. In all our videos, we will be covering all exercises from the Concise Mathematics textbook, Selena Publishers, Class 6, the new edition. So let's begin with the first chapter, Number System, Exercise 1A. So exercise 1A is on page number 2. Let's begin with question 1. Fill in the blanks. First sentence. In this number, now how do we read the number? 24,673. The place value of 6 is. So let's do a quick review of what place value is. Place value of any digit is the position that that digit occupies in the given number. So we have to find out what the position of 6 is. So let's see. Let's look out for 6. 6 is here. What is the position of 6? That means we have 1s, 10s and 100s. 6 is in the 100s position or the 100s place. So the place value of 6 is 6 into 100 which is 600. Question 2. In the number 8039, the place value of 8 is... So find out the position of 8 and we find out the place value. So 8 is here and this is 1s, 10s, 100s and 1000s. So 8 is in the 1000s place. So 8 into 1000 is 8000. Question 3. Now we have a large number here, isn't it? Whenever you have large numbers and it's difficult for you to read, Place commas in the right places. So let's begin. Now 8 is 1s, 10s, 100s. Isn't it? So after 100s we have a comma. Then we have 1000s, 10,000s and comma. Now it becomes easy to read this number. 3,25,648. In this number, what is the local value of 2? Now what is local value? Local value is the same as place value. It's just another name for place value. So again, look for the position of 2 here. 2 is here. So let's underline 2 and find out what the position of 2 is. So 1s, we have 1s here. Then 10s, 100s, 1000s and we have 10,000s. So 2 is in the 10,000s place. So that means 2 into 10,000. 2 into 10,000 is 2 into 1. You just multiply 2 into 1 is 2 and all add all the other zeros. So 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's 20,000. So 2 into 10,000 is 20,000. That is the place value or the local value of 2 in this number. Now the fourth number in 6,439 the local value or the place value of 3. So let's find out the place value of 3. 1s, 10s. So 3 is the 10s place. 3 into 10 is 30. That is the local value of 3. Now question 2. Find the difference between the place values of 3 and 5 in the number 3945. So we have a number here and we have 3 and 5 in this number. So first you have to find the place value of 3 and the place value of 5 and then find the difference. What's the meaning of finding the difference? Subtracting the two values. So let's begin. Now the first thing is the place value of 3. Now 3 is here. So that's 1s, 10s, 100s and 1000s. So the place value of 3 is 1000s. That is 3000. Then the place value of 5, 5 is here and that's in the 1's place. So the place value of 5 is 5 into 1 which is 5. Now we have to find the difference that is subtraction. So let's subtract 3000 and 5. Take away 5 from 3000. So we need to borrow from 3 here. So this is 2, 10 and then 9, 10. 9 and 10. So now we have 10 minus 5 is 5. Then we have 9, 9 and 2. So the difference between the place values is 2,995. 
Question 3. In the number 40,562, we have to find the local value of 5. So first, position of 5. Remember, local value is the same as place value. So ones, tens, hundreds. 5 is in the hundreds place. So 5 into 100 is 500. Then we have to find the face value of 6. What is the meaning of face value? Face value is the value of the digits digit as you see it. It's the same number. It does not depend on the position of this digit in the number. So the play, face value of 6 will simply be 6. In whichever position it is in, the face value is the same value of the digit. Next one, the sum of the place value of 5 and the face value of 6. So we need to know the place value of 5 which we already found to be 500. And the face value of 6, which we found out to be 6 itself, we need to find the sum of both those numbers. So, the place value of 5 is 500 as we found out. Then, the face value of 6 is 6 itself. Now, we have to find the sum of the place value of 5 and the face value of 6. That means add up 506. That's a simple one, isn't it? 500 plus 6 is 506. So this is our answer. Now question 4. Find the difference in the place values of the two sevens in the number 8,72,574. So there are two sevens here. There are two sevens as you can see. There's one seven here and one seven here. We have to first find the place values of the two sevens and then find the difference. That means subtract those two answers. So let's begin. Place value of 1, 7. So we have 1, 7 here. Let's take the 7. Let's find the place value. 1s, 10s, 100s, 1000s, 10,000s. So this 7 is in the 10,000s place. So 7 into 10,000 is 70,000. So 70,000. Then the place value of the other 7. The other 7 is here. And as you can see, it's in the 10s place. So 7 into 10 is 17. So put it in the right place. Now we need to find the difference in the place values. That means we need to subtract these two numbers. So let's do that subtraction now. 0 minus 0 is 0. Then 0 minus 7 we can't do. So we need to borrow. So 6 I've borrowed. It's become 10. I need to borrow again. So this becomes 9. And this becomes 10. Borrow again. So this becomes 9 and this becomes 10. Now 10 minus 7 is 3. Then we have 9, 9 and 6. So we've got our answer for the fourth question. The difference in the place values is 69,930. Question 5. Find the difference between the face value of 9 and the face value of 4 in the number. Now I said whenever you have a number and you're not able to read it, Place commas. So let's place commas. Ones, tens, hundreds, comma. Thousands, ten thousands, comma. So start from the right and move towards the left and place your commas. Now it becomes easy for us to read, isn't it? So the number here is 3,24,798. So we have to find the face value of 9 and the face value of 4. Remember, face value of a number of any digit does not depend on where it is in the number. It's a number itself. So face value of 9 is 9 itself. And the face value of 4 is 4 itself. Now we have to find the difference between the two. So let's begin that. So the face value of 9 is 9 itself. And the face value of 4 is 4. Now we have to find the difference. That means we have to subtract these two. So difference will be, now this is a very simple one, isn't it? 9 minus 4 is 5. So we have found the difference between the face value of 9 and the face value of 4 in this number. And the answer is 5. So with this children, we've come to the end of exercise 1a. I would like you to revise face value and place value. Now, in our next video, we will be doing exercise 1b and all our other videos will cover all the exercises that are there in this textbook.
So you can watch and learn. Thank you children for now.